All right, guys, a couple of days ago, we got a package in the mail, and I want to give a huge shout out to Lewis from Our Shot Access, who made this possible for me by giving me a huge gift card that helped me be able to purchase this because to, to eliminate the wheel hop, because you know, the wheel hop was the, 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 the reason why the, the, <laughs> the output shaft on the transmission sheared off. I never actually had wheel hop in two wheel drive, so I don't know. You know, but I can't have that happen again just in case I need complete wheel hop gone. And I got something from him. You know, he sent me something. He didn't see it. He sent it from me, but he helped me get it. And these are going to be pretty cool because this is going to help. All right, guys, yes, I know I've been talking about these in a lot of videos. These are the core 4x4. I only got the lower control arms because as of right now, I didn't have the money to get the upper and the lower, so I just got the lower right now because of uh, the gift card that I was that I gotten. But I will be getting the upper uh, when I get more money in. Uh, you know, as you can see, got all new hardware. These I will be installing tomorrow. I got them in all, all black. Hold on for one second. All right, as you can see, yes, core 4x4. These things are heavy duty as hell. Very heavy duty. These things are really nice. It just took me a while to open that up, so I didn't want to have you uh, sit there and watch me just start cutting all the paper up. All new hardware, nuts, bolts, everything. There they are. Thank you. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Custom Black Guns. I watch a lot of his videos, and uh, I noticed that he's, he represents these very well. He's got a, a coupon code for them and everything. And I just want to thank him. He also represented my uh, my channel and my Cam Ram t-shirt in his video. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. And, uh, yeah, here's the core 4x4 in control. Lower control arms. We're going to get the upper eventually. But right now, we're going to go with the lower and hopefully get back to the track as soon as possible. Got a couple more things to square away with the Ram before we do. Also want to give a shout out to Mike Lazzi Jr. from Toon Rams because he also has these and represents these very well. And uh, those guys, you know, with them, got the inspiration for me getting them, I wouldn't even know much about them until uh, I watched a bunch of their videos and on uh, the forums and stuff like that. But thank you guys. We'll be installing these in the morning. You're on video, so don't, don't be... Uh, it's all good. Oh, geez. Look, you got to get back up now. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, if I had a good helper. You just said get out the way. You think you can do it yeah, all? Let's go. I just need some tools here. So, yeah, make sure you call Atlas Appliance Repair. Atlas Doctor. No, it's just Atlas So, what did you change repair. the name? No. So... This is hard to get fucking an angle of everything. It's really boring to get into. Just if you need any appliances, ah! you need any of your appliances fixed in South Jersey, Gloucester County, Camden County, Burlington County, Monmouth County, call this number. There you go. You got it. It's on video, so. Anyone who mentions the video, you get 10% off. Joe, fix my dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Need a new one, Nick. Right <laughs> this one's actually coming off way easier. Yeah, because you got a powerful impact. That thing's way more powerful than my, uh, that one. Yeah, much more powerful. Air ratchet it. Damn, bro. Damn, he making moves. <laughs> Look at him now. He got the impact. He's on Mr. Mr. Speed. There you want to. Damn. Yeah, we're going to match that up. Put that on the air. We'll do the same thing we did last time. Now, this is what we did to get the exact same length. As I'm trying to hold the, yeah. Put the bolts on. Bolt right there, bro. I think it's behind you. You are right. Put enough lock height on there. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I, I tried to dab it in oh it. Oh my just... <laughs> god! Dude, you ain't ever getting that out, so That's you don't gotta worry about it now. No. 
side. That's the side, and it's got to worry about it. Anyways. I don't give a fuck. How'd I line that up? Pretty good, this one? Nah, a little off, huh? It's actually in there. Is it in there, or should yeah. we get a little bit no, more? it's in there. It'll work? Did it go in the bolts? All right. Bolts don't lie. <laughs> bolts don't lie. Oh. So we'll go, I guess. Yeah. We're going to hand tighten each, um... Oh, Today we my, also fixed my the broken stud I had. What's that? So you didn't get my stuff together for me this time. It's already in the box together. It's right next to you. I mean, yeah, it's very simple. I mean, it's just... It's a, yeah, you take one. Nut, wi or uh, bolt, washer, washer, nut. That's it. Nothing really to it. Sorry, I'm, but we ain't got enough room here if you can't see nothing, guys. You know, I'm trying to not have the camera like this on. And I got a lot of shit in the way. So Dave, show the master mechanic. Dave. The master mechanic. This man fixed this bolt really good. We hit it, he hit it off. He did it all. He showed me. I never did any of that before, but we needed to uh, fix the bolt. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, my man. He's been doing this shit, I guess, for a while. Yeah, we actually got to go forward. I told you it had to go a little bit bigger. I said that. He's like, nah, bolts bolt, don't lie. Well, no, I don't know forward what, though, because it went on the bolt, so right. really this has to go forward this way. Yeah, make sure the arms are the same length. Move the axle. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Want to do that again? definitely the same length, right? I mean, he just did it. Yeah, we he did, did it, it did the that. same thing as that arm, yeah, so. No, yeah, leave that in there. Just yeah, he. Forward like I did. What did you use, just the bar? Turn that. No, just turn it in. Yeah, but if we turn the end, it's going to extend it then. I thought you just turned it one. No, I put it back. Put make. I would say put it back on there. If you, you don't want them different sizes, there, dude. No, you want the same size as that and the same size as that. Yeah. That's why I put the bolts on so they line up identical instead of you know. Dude, you're a genius. That's right, dude. I got. You're a mastermind. You're a mastermind. Yeah, you did. Yeah, this one, this is how it goes. Jesus Christ. On this side? Yeah, the bolts go on this side. Oh, wait, no, no. Why do I feel like that bolt's longer than this bolt? That's like not even getting to the lock. What's that? Well, I didn't tighten it. I didn't tighten it all the way, all the way down yet. Which way did you go? Oh, you yeah, that's not even hitting the... Uh, the washer, yeah, we'll fix that. Yeah, now I just I just hit it because I wasn't sure if there was a torque spec or something. That, you know, you guys. All right, putting the tire back on. Lower control arms are both on. We're gonna put the rotor back on, brake pad, finish up, and everything's fixed. All right, we just finished up. I want to thank Joe from Atlas Appliance. He's the one with the 2019 Whipple in my. In my um, <laughs> my other video from a couple videos ago, check check that video out. If you need any appliance done here in this area, New Jersey, South Jersey area, he's the man to go see. He does a great job. We just finished. We put on the uh, core four x four lower control arms. We also fixed a um a stud. I had a fucking cross threaded stud that now is fixed. That we knocked it out. Take the rotor off. That's all done. I want to thank the guy Dave. We let us use his lift at his house. That was his house we worked at. He has a lift there. And I was going to do this in my driveway today by myself, and I would have been a nightmare, me throwing tools and getting angry. And I thank both of them. Thank you very much for helping me out and getting this done today. Because Steve, my you know my mechanic who does all my work, wasn't able to, able to do it today. He'd be my first choice, obviously, because he's the only one that ever really worked on this. But this truck, as of right now, is 100% track ready. Tuned, it's all tuned up. That is fixed. The four, four core by four. The cuts are the core four by four lower control arms are on. They are installed, and uh, they got the, the stud fixed. It's got more. I put a little more training fluid in it because it was still downshifting a little bit hard when coming to a stop. It is not even doing that at all right now. I can feel it already. And uh, yeah, this truck will be ready to hit the track as soon as I get a chance to uh, get back up there and see what I can do. All right.